Hey everyone! A while back I shared a quick video showing how I turned basic phone footage into a stylized animation. It's a useful workflow that blends AI and 3D tools, perfect for indie filmmakers working on a tight budget. But some people wanted to know more about the process, so I decided to break down the full workflow in detail. In this part we're going to cover how we can capture performance using Wonder Dynamics and then bringing that performance into Unreal Engine with MetaHuman, applying facial expressions with LiveLink and basically creating a full 3D scene. And in part 2, we'll take that render and stylize it to give it a painterly handcrafted vibe. By the way, you can stylize it any way you want, but more on that in part 2. What I love about this workflow is that it gives you full control. You're directing the shot, shaping the performance, and deciding exactly how it looks in the end. It's still a bit experimental and sure, things break sometimes, but you can create truly unique animations without a big team or a ton of gear. All right, let's jump in. Step one, capturing the performance. Thanks to AI, it's becoming more and more accessible. All you need is a camera, and in many cases, your phone is enough to get started. To get solid tracking results, keep these basics in mind. Avoid background movement or clutter, though even in less controlled spaces, AI can still deliver good results. Avoid black or reflective clothing. These can interfere with motion detection. Make sure your subject is well lit to help the AI pick up body movement accurately. You don't always need your whole body in frame, but for walking or jumping, a full body shot helps. In this example, I'm filming a medium shot of my upper body since leg movement isn't needed. Once the footage looks good, we'll move on to step two, creating a metahuman. You can use any rigged character for this workflow, but we'll be focusing on MetaHuman, which is Unreal Engine's free plugin that's super intuitive and great for high quality results. If you haven't used MetaHuman before, you can create a character online using a variety of templates that are easy to customize. I've already got one ready, so I'll be using that for this tutorial. Before moving on, there's one important thing to check. Your character's body type. Is it short, medium, tall, slim, stocky? This will come into play in the next step when we start converting your video into 3D animation data. Step 3. Using Wonder Dynamics for body motion tracking. In step 1, we captured a video. Now it's time to turn that footage into motion data using AI. There are a few tools out there for body tracking. One worth checking out is Move.ai. Their results are solid, especially if you're using a two-camera setup. They also offer a free trial, so it's a good option to test before committing to anything. For this tutorial, I'm using Wonder Dynamics. Their motion tracking is reliable, and they offer direct integration with MetaHuman, which is a big plus. They don't offer a free trial, which is a bit of a shame, but I found their basic subscription more than enough for my needs. And just to be clear, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. Now, once you're logged into Wonder Dynamics, here's the workflow. Create a new project and select the AI Motion Capture option. Upload the video you recorded in step one. After it uploads, you'll get the option to edit, but we'll skip that and hit next. The software will scan the video to detect characters. Once it's done, you'll see a rectangle around the actor. Click to select them. Now assign a 3D character to the actor. Choose the special MetaHuman compatible model. You'll have a few settings to tweak, but the most important one is body type. Match it to the MetaHuman you created in step two. In my case, that's average height and weight. Click next and you're ready to export. Note, MetaHuman characters must be exported in USD format. FBX is not supported. Once you click Start Processing, the system begins generating motion data. For a 10 second clip, processing typically takes around 45 minutes. Alright, now that the file is ready, it's time to move on to the next step. Step 5. Importing body motion into Unreal Engine. Let's start by creating a blank Unreal project under the Film, Video and Live Events category. Before we dive in, we need to install a couple of plugins. 
Go to Edit, Plugins, search for MetaHuman and enable it. Then search for USD and enable that too. And restart Unreal to apply the changes. Now let's bring your MetaHuman into the project. Click the Add icon and open Quixel Bridge. Log into your Unreal account. Navigate to the MetaHuman section and click Local to find your custom character. Hit Add to import it. You'll now see a new MetaHuman folder in your content browser. Inside, open your character's blueprint. Notice how the hair and face change when you zoom in and out? To fix it, go to the LOD Sync section. Set number of LODs to 1. Looking good! Now let's import the animation. Create a folder for your animation assets. Drag in the USD file you downloaded from Wonder Dynamics. Before importing, adjust a few settings. Check the override stage options. Set meters per unit to 0.01, set up axis to Z, and finally click import. Next, go to the animation file, usually named ASAnim, and do the following. In the preview mesh, enable allow incompatible skeletons, scroll down, and assign your metahuman's body mesh, under Retarget Source Asset, select your MetaHuman body again. Now, let's create a timeline using Unreal's Level Sequencer. Create a new folder, right-click, Cinematics, Level Sequence, name it and open it. Bring your MetaHuman into the level and into the sequencer. Delete the body control rig. Then under Body, add a track and choose the animation you just imported. Let's lift the character slightly and preview the result. The motion looks solid. Wonder Dynamics delivered respectable hand tracking, especially impressive given the lack of markers. But there is a common issue. The right arm clips into the body. This usually happens due to retargeting quirks. To fix it, bake the animation to the MetaHuman control rig. Now you'll have keyframes you can edit. Find the section where the arm clips, Delete the pitch rotation keyframes for the upper arm. Add new keyframes to correct the motion. Once the body animation looks clean, we're ready to move on to step six, facial animation. For facial expressions, we're using Live Link Face by Epic Games, a free app designed to work seamlessly with MetaHuman. It's available for both iPhone and Android, though I'm using it on an iPhone here, and it works great. To sync body and facial performance, I place the phone right next to my camera. That way, both performances align naturally. Of course, you can also record the facial data separately, if needed. LiveLink generates a CSV file, so before importing, make sure the CSV importer plugin is enabled in Unreal. Next, follow these steps. Import the CSV file, drop the facial animation into your level sequencer, Delete the existing face control rig. Bake the animation onto a new control rig. Delete the subsequence. And just like that, you've got a fully rigged animated facial performance. Now let's prep for rendering. Add a camera to your level and position it where you want. Don't forget to bring the camera into the timeline as well. And now your scene is ready to render. Step seven, exporting the video. Since we'll be stylizing the footage in part 2, you don't need to worry too much about lighting or environment detail at this stage. The AI will take care of that later. To export your animation, first make sure the Movie Render Queue plugin is enabled. Then, head to your level sequencer and click the render icon. A new window will open. By default, Unreal will export as a JPG sequence, which works perfectly for our needs. Choose your output folder, click Render Local. Unreal will start rendering the timeline. Once you've got your JPG sequence, you can use any video editing software to compile it into a full video file. Step 8. Refining the facial performance. Now that your video is rendered, you're technically ready to begin part 2, the stylization phase. But before we say goodbye to part 1, I wanted to share a cool, powerful way to enhance your facial animation. Live Link is great for capturing real-time expressions, but it tends to lose subtle emotional details once applied to MetaHuman. That's where Runway's Act 1 comes in. It helps recover much of the original nuance and realism. Here's how to use it. Head to Runway, 
and start a new session. Choose Gen 3 Turbo and click the Act 1 icon. Um, upload your live link recording as the driving performance. Uh, upload your Unreal Engine MetaHuman video as the target. Uh, adjust motion intensity if needed. I typically keep it at 1. Then hit Generate. The result? A much more expressive and believable facial performance, a lot closer to your original intent. And that's it! You've built a complete metahuman driven performance from scratch. In part 2, we'll take this video and completely transform it with stylization, turning it into something bold, artistic, and uniquely yours. Thanks for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in part 2.